Hello, 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 everyone. Hi. So glad you can be with us. Be with us today. I'm Dr. Barry. And I'm Dr. Barry. <laughs> BarryThePain.com. I'm, I'm Dr. Barry. BarryThePain.com. Uh, Internet's medical director and co-owner of two medical centers here in Palm Beach County, where we specialize in the treatment of pain. Treatment of pain. And I'm Dr. Jerisa Berry, yes. America's ER physician and fertility expert, best-selling author. But you know, <laughs> we develop BarryThePain.com because we want to talk about some of the chronic conditions that are painful. Painful, painful, painful. That people have to deal with. Yes. And right now, we really want to talk about anemia. Anemia and how do you, number one, how do you recognize it? How do you recognize when you may be anemic? It's, it's so common. You know, really a lot of times it's the clinical symptoms. Um, and most common symptoms are, you know, just fatigue, drowsiness, just tiredness, uh, headache. Sometimes you can even be a little dizzy, lightheaded. Uh, some of the other symptoms very common or, you know, it can even increase risk of depression, depressed mood, mm. or, or restless leg syndrome at night. You know, I just can't quite get comfortable. Mm. Um, those are really common common things there. And, and one of the key, key ones that, you know, should not go unnoticed is when you just crave this, you know, uh, non-food items like ice chips. You know, I don't know what it is. I just crave. And so that's another really common um I guess, uh, effect of, of low uh, iron or low uh, red blood cell count. And that's interesting because some people don't mm -hmm. really know or associate depression, you know, depression, depression. with anemia. Yeah. It also, you know, lowers your uh, metabolism. So it may be hard to lose weight beside you being more tired uh -oh. to try to go to the gym and or, you know, work out, be active. And also, if, if I'm if I'm in down mood, I'm not thinking about trying to work out and be active, right? Right. So okay. you may be, you may be anemic if yes. you're feeling down, depressed. It may not just be situational. So right. that's another reason, you know, yeah. really to to kind of check and get your annual physicals, you know, Definitely. and really see if you could be anemic if you also feel depressed. Wow. Right. right. So that's mm. the key thing there. And then the second thing is really just by, you know, lab testing. So a lot of times if you get a physical or, you know, we do various tests, we look at your cell blood count, you know, the biggest thing is your hemoglobin level. And that's kind of what we use to kind of, you know, monitor, try to see if, if you're actually anemic. And then if your you know, red blood cell count is low, which is really anemia, it's either issues either going to be increased destruction of red blood cells, lower loss of them or decreased production. Mm. So we kind of look at different causes. Uh, we do other labs, you know, your ferritin level, iron stores, mm -hmm. and we, you know, try to get an idea of what kind of anemia you have and what the treatment could be. What kind of anemia? Because there's different kinds. Yes. Really? Yes. So every every kind of anemia doesn't respond or won't respond to iron, you know, so just keep that in mind too. Iron. Now see. Iron. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That one right there. Uh, so Oof. many women, so many women, a lot more women also, you know, come when I see them in the emergency room, they've stopped their iron <laughs> yeah. because of a common side effect. So what is it about iron? Like, you know, it's main it's, side effect is that constipation, Ooh. Ugh. constipation, bloating, you know, straining, all that is not fun. And that is very painful. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's one of the big, big P's and pain of anemia <laughs> is pain. the side effect of the medication. <laughs> yeah, and then women will stop it. Women will actually right. say, you know what, I would almost rather be anemic than to take iron pills. But how are they taking iron? You know, yeah. how are you supposed to take iron pills? That's a good question. How are you supposed to take iron? Dr. Barry? How are you supposed to take it? With food or not with food? With food or empty stomach? That is the question. Without food. The whole thing is, okay, where's the iron, where's iron absorbed? Is it in the stomach or is it small intestine? It's in the stomach. So guess what? You can't have any food in the stomach in order to get in order for it to get absorbed. So that's the first thing there. A lot of patients, I can't tell you, countless patients will come to me and be like, nobody ever explained that to me. They just, here's the medication, take it. Mm. That's huge. And so it has to be an hour before before meals on an empty stomach with a full glass of water or a small glass of orange juice. Can you say that one more time? How do you <laughs> take <laughs> iron? <laughs> <laughs> and that is on an empty stomach. Hour before meals, small glass of water or even a small glass of juice, a full glass of water, a small glass of juice. Um, sometimes there's something called fusion for iron, you know, fusion. And it has also, you know, vitamin C and other B vitamins in there to help with the absorption of it. The other thing is one hour after you must, you must at least 
remain upright in order for to get fully uh, digested. And so that's another key thing. You can't take it. Oh, just lie back, you know, right before bed or something. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing. Probably the other really common thing to think about is uh, other medication you might be on while you're on iron. Oh, yes. Ding, ding, ding. Right. So definitely antibiotics. A lot of times are notorious for interruption, interrupting with the absorption of iron. The other ones are bisphosphonate. So for example, let's say if you have osteoporosis and are on those, you know, Boniva, Fosamax, those medications, are, or even uh, if you say you have acid reflux you know, and are on a proton pump inhibitor or acid medication, all, all those medications are notorious for interrupting with the absorption of iron. And, and that's a really big thing there. You so don't want to take them separately. Right. So take them separately and because you want to, you know, you, you, you know, dealing with, you know, constipation and taking this on and dealing with all the nuances of those medications, you want to make sure that you're getting the, you're getting the big, biggest benefits of, of taking that medication, you right? You don't want to just take it and just interact with everything and you're not really getting it. Oh right, my gosh. Right. And so that's it. And so those are kind of key mm -hmm. things there. Uh, in terms of a lot of times your hemoglobin level, it depends mm -hmm. how drastic that falls. Let's say most common, usually it's most common in women because why? They have monthly periods. And so they lose blood a lot more so than more common than uh, a man would. So therefore, that's why anemia is more common in women overall. You yeah. Know? So so get checked. Make sure you get your pap smears, <laughs> ladies. It's yes. so much pressure. It's so much pressure. pressure, pressure. Mammogram, pap smear. <laughs> if you have heavy bleeding, make sure you get, you know, have that thought that, you know, right. you really want to get checked out for anemia and it could be related to, like you said, depression, fatigue. So yes. don't ignore the symptoms. Right. Don't very ignore true. the symptoms because it can be painful. Yes. You come painful. to the emergency room and need a blood transfusion. <laughs> you don't want to do that. <laughs> right. Right. Unless you have to. All right, you all. Well, we wanted to just come on really quick and right. share with you about um, anemia. This video, right? But next time we we're gonna talk about probably constipation. We're gonna, we gotta talk about constipation and GERD. Constipation, mm. GERD. This all kind of That's things, nice. conditions that can be painful. That's something I, I, yeah. I suffered with, you know, with GERD and, and, and those things. Uh, Gastroesophageal reflux disease for y'all. You know. That's that's a lot. <laughs> well. Make sure you stay tuned, like yes. us, subscribe to yes. you know YouTube, set your notifications so that way the next time you know when Dr. Barry and Dr. Barry go live. Yes. If you happen to be in South Florida, then you know someone that suffers from physical pain. We do have an alternative, so make sure you ask them to check us out. BarryThePain.com. We're located in Palm Beach County. Bye, guys. Till next time. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>